Hi guys, today we'll be doing a what's in a bag, my bag for 2016. Um, I'm going to show you what I have in my bag right now, and then I'm going to show you a few other clubs that could possibly go in my bag. So let's get started. A lot has changed, to be honest, uh, since the last one I did it. It was like uh, early spring. So uh, let's start off with my player here. Got a uh, Odyssey. Odyssey White Hot, uh, V-Line, Super Stroke Grip, Counterbalance. Uh, just recently got the grip on it. I uh, I really like it. it. Has a soft feel to it, and uh, I've putted much better than what I have been with my old uh, Scotty Cannon. All right, so uh, let's keep going here. Now moving on to my wedges, SM5. Got my 58 degree here. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Uh, got the different grip on it here. New uh, multi compound. I like it. it. Has good feel to it. Can't really go wrong with bogey wedges. So, so my irons. Uh, these have changed recently. I did have the G30s for about a year or so, but um, my dad's friend he actually offered to give me these. These are the uh, MP52s. As you know. Um, pretty thin sole forged um, so I, I gave these a try and I really like the feel of them so that's why I've been using them uh, they don't go as far so that's just something I'm going to have to adapt to um, I might get a different shaft on them and uh, definitely change the grips I really don't like these grips but uh, the feel of them is really really nice can't really go wrong with them as you know iron um, not that my G30 for bad but they just didn't have a good, great feel to them. I mean, they went pretty far, but they just didn't have a great feel to them. So, um, back here you can see that it has no cavity. But then going up to, like, uh, say, 5 iron. Going up to 5 iron, it has a little bit of a cavity here to, to help with um, off-center hits. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're a real nice, real nice look to it. And, um, so, yeah, let's, let's keep going here. Now I go to a three hybrid. It's a um, diamond shaft, nine ten, nine ten hybrid, nineteen degrees. I actually have it at about eighteen degrees right now. Um, regular shaft. Oh yeah, forgot to mention that my uh, irons are stiff shaft now. But uh, I don't think I had this one either when I did my last what's in the bag. I actually got this off of a uh, Callaway Prio. And I, um, I really liked it. It was in great condition. Um, got it for for like forty bucks or so. So, yeah, it's uh, I really like it. I hated my other uh, Taylor TaylorMade and my other my i twenty five i twenty that I had. Um, it was okay, but it was very low flight and didn't really have a place in my bag at the moment. It could go in my bag, but I'm still not sure. But uh, yeah, this probably goes about. 200 to 210 for me uh, usually on a good hit but uh, in the winter now ball doesn't go as far so probably about like 190 or so 200 um, but yeah it has a really nice classic look to it and uh, I really like it let's keep going next we have uh, I call it kind of like a driving iron because it kind of is compared to my irons um, it's my old G34 iron but the thing is, my forearm, the Mizuno is 24 degrees. This is 21 degrees, so it's basically playing like a three iron, kind of like a driving iron too. Um, yeah, th I, I kind of like it. I think it has a place in my bag uh, between my four iron now and my hybrid. So I call this a three iron, even though it has four iron on the bottom, but it's still a um, regular shaft here, pretty light shaft, multi compound grip. Probably goes about 190, and if I put up on a tee, I probably could hit it about 200. I think it has a place in my bag, and it feels good when I hit it. Really uh, has a nice flight to it. So 
So uh, let's keep going here. What's my three wood here? Um, it's an old one, but it's a trusty one. It's the uh, Callaway X, 15 degrees. Um, it's about 10 years old now. Uh, a stiff flex Fuji Cora, regular Callaway grip. Um, I don't know, I've always had a problem with my three woods. I used to have the Callaway X Hot, fit me a little better. Um, the only downside of it is that when hitting off the deck, it has kind of a, a like a deep base. So it's more like a kind of like a, a mini driver if you want to think about it like that. Um, but off the tee, it feels really nice. Pretty, it's longer compared to my old three woods, so that's why I like it. it. Gives me a little more extra distance. So I'd say probably around 220 to 230 max. Uh, yeah. So it's it's a good club. Callaway's always made great three woods, so that's why I kind of stuck with it. And I'm not sure if it's gonna come out of my bag sometime soon, but I'm not too sure yet. So moving on to my last club and what's in the bag. Uh, it's another new one that that you haven't seen yet or haven't seen uh, what's in the bag, but it's the um, Titleist 915. And uh, he's hanging on to this one, but it's gonna play. And a good ball from Will, and we're off. All right, guys. So I want D2, the bigger head, 460 cc's. Uh, it says nine and a half degrees right there, but I actually have it up at 11, give me a little bit of a higher flight, especially with a uh, little, little bit of a stiffer shaft, a little heavier shaft. Got the Diamana uh, uh, blue board, stiff. Has such a nice look to it um, on the top. Um, yeah, everybody I know seems to like it. Uh, it's a great club, quality club, but it's a bit pricey. I think I paid too much for it. I shouldn't have paid that much, but yet the price hasn't gone down at all from when it actually came out. In the summer, I'm probably um, averaging around 250, 255 on a good one, 260 or yeah, 260, carrying probably around like 230 usually. But uh, yeah, it's very it's forgiving. Um, even though it's supposed it's kind of low spinning too, uh, just because of the bigger head. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to clubs that might that are not in my bag at the moment, but could possibly be in my bag at some point. So um, let's start off here. Voki SM4, 54 degree. Um, I felt in the summer that I had kind of a big gap between um, my 58 and my 50 because that's the jump that I make. But um, right now I've just been able to work with it. And um, it's a nice club. It's the uh, darker finish, kind of like the bronze finish, but darker. It's rusted, which I like. Uh, wedge flex. I forget what this grip is called, but it's golf pride. I think it's pretty worn out. Uh, shout out to Gus Minkin for giving this to me. Um, so yeah, it was about, this summer I'd say around 110 max. So another club that might be in my bag eventually or not is the um, MP52 3 iron. It's the same loft as my old G34 iron, so what I felt was that why not have more forgiveness in the G30 and um, then not as much in the 3 iron, which is uh, pretty bladed actually. It's got the same grip on it. Finally, the last club that could possibly go in my bag that has been in my bag at one point um, and it's the Big Bertha Steelhead yep three plus so it's at 13 and a half or 13 degrees um, got firm flex Callaway shaft uh, thick lambkin grip which I kind of like though it's got a gray head um, pretty old school really this one's about 15 years old or so um, but I do like the feel of it, especially when I hit off the tee. It goes pretty high and spins kind of spins less. So um, I tried it out once and uh, I kind of like it. So um, just one more thing to point out. Just got this for Christmas. Bushnell Rangefinder Tour Z. Really like it. Used it once. Uh, very accurate. Um, Ball I play, Pro V1, Pro V1X, anything Titleist, 
really broken one and broken one. I don't really play any other one. So, um, that's my bag for you. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely subscribe to the channel. A lot more um, content coming. Um, probably doing a um, best of 2015 or uh, 2015 in review. So uh, check out for that. And uh, thanks for watching.